Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do this. So here is my project file opened and today I'm going to show you how to do this animation. So you can see I named this group as flow text. So this is my flow text and if I click this to the view one you can see the output. So this is a 3D text. So if you can see it's going forward basically it's doing nothing. So what I'm gonna do is take a camera 3D. You can see it's taking a camera 3D and this is our mars 3D. So it is merging together. So if I drag this to the viewer one you can see the camera is positioned and the text is on the ground so what i'm gonna do is take the output from the mars 3d and take the output to the render 3d and we'll convert it into 2d so if i drag this mars 3d2 to the viewer you can see it's cropping so why it's cropping because we take a rectangular mask you can see it's right over the ring over the render 3d2 so you can see now if i play it and let me gonna show so if I again connect it, so it will crop in. So I'm gonna going forward. So this is our shadow node. You can also apply shadows if you want. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna use it. So let's going forward. So you can see we have the wall text as well. So I take this shadow output and we merge it. So we take a uh, wall text as a background, or you can use the uh, flow text here or as a uh, as a background or foreground you whatever you want so so we have to take this uh, output to the render 3d so we can go into 2d space and if i drag the render 3d one to the viewer one you can see the uh, output so if i play it you can see the output so it is also cropping it is the same process that we did in the uh, flow text so it's basically cropping with the rectangular marks so it's the same so i'm not going to show you how to do that right now so if i again and I show you the shadow node it's basically create a shadow for your text so if you want you can do it but you can do so i'm not going to use it right now so after that we take this output so we get this kind of stuff so you can see it's nice little uh, like it's so blinding so next if i show you the rectangle too you can see it's cropping the flow text not flow text is cropping the wall text so if i play it you can see so if i now will the you can see the render 3d one is cropping with this rectangle too so now what i'm gonna do is to show you the march one final output so this is the, the march one final output so last we have the floor and the wall so, so i'm gonna show you how i create the wall and floor so i create i named it this group float and wall so this is our floor and i create a large plane actually in the 3d space and uh, you can basically create it by taking a shape 3d and convert it into plane so it's uh, pretty simple and you also can scale it up so if you want to so now i'm going to delete it so and i also take a wall node wall plane so you can see this is a, a vertical plane so this i take a camera node and uh, merge it together with this wall and floor plane so we now you can convert it into 2d with this camera node so one thing to remember that your camera position have to be the same so you know uh, if not so you're not gonna uh, get a perfect output so this is most most important thing in this scene so in the camera position must align and so you just have to copy them after you just uh, uh, created one camera so you can copy paste every camera so uh, in this uh, render 3d3 i'm not gonna crop it with a rectangular mask because it's already cropping with its aspect ratio and this is our final so this is a mars node so it's uh, uh, taking the foreground as those text and this is our background floor and wall so if i drag this final output to the viewer one you will get this uh, cool effect so so let me drag this um, this my final march to the viewer one you can see the output so if i play it you can see the output is looking good so that's how you create it if you want to uh, save it uh, to your